What's going on everybody, Z here, and welcome to a new game. This is called Kanga Seeds of Civilization. So, this is a roguelike city colony builder kind of deal. It looks pretty cool, it looks pretty neat. Um, so basically, the, I believe the, the roguelite part of it is, we control a thinker, and essentially the thinker is the person that unlocks research and things like that for the towns and villages and stuff like that, that we are gonna be going and building in. And it looks like we can unlock more, it looks like we have a couple over here, and it also looks like there's other things that we can unlock over time. So like different types of houses and um, we're going to hop into it. We're just going to hop into it so that way we can kind of see what's going on here because that's not really going to make a whole lot of sense unless you know how the game runs. So um, huge shout out for the developers in the game over. It's uh, it's pretty awesome. Pretty cool. It's not sponsored. So they're not paying me to say anything, but it looks pretty cool. Um, and then so our active challenge right now, the right direction, it wants us to do the boardwalk arena. So we're going to head over here to the terraces area, and it looks like there's like different mission sets within these areas that we need to knock out. But knocking this out will unlock the Karma Shop, complete the tutorial in the arena to attract the Scroll Keeper to the Skyloft, allowing the trade of Karma for technologies. So that sounds kind of cool. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's embark on our mission and get rock and rolling. So um, pretty Pretty neat game, I gotta say. Uh, everything is like three dimensional, but your characters are like two dimensional. So we have, here's our thinker. And these right here are our braves. Um, they're basically like our general fighters. <gasps> oh, there's a walker over here already. Okay, so these creatures, we can actually tame them and put like buildings on them or like ride them and stuff like that. So it's kind of neat, kind of cool. Um, I don't know what's going on with these guys. I think this is like a, a different village. So I don't think we want to quite go over there yet. And I don't know if we can actually tame this yet. So let's go ahead and let's look around here. What do we got here? Uh, Beastmaster gear. Ooh, that's going to help us tame that uh, that beastie, if you will. Uh, what are these? Snails? Those are snails. Holy moly, those are huge snails. Uh, you know what? Let's just, let's just do our city right here. Why not? Uh, let's put our fire right here. I'm sure I'm doing this wrong, but you know what? We're going to figure it out as we go. We're going to figure it out. I did play the tutorial, so I kind of have a rough idea what's going on. Um, all right. So now we can select what kind of house we want. And as you can see, different houses have different, uh, percentages of, of protection. So I'm going to say that here, um, let's see, small square houses that grow bamboo behind them. Uh, round houses with reed roofs that can equip braves with matching hats. What does the hat do? Braves get rain hats so they can still work in the rain. That's pretty cool, but I don't think we're, I think we're going to go with the thatched house because I think I like the bamboo behind them being produced because I, that's like a material that we're going to need. So let's start with a thatched house. And as you can see, as we unlock stuff, um, you can only like, you know, pick and choose so many different things. So it's kind of neat. I think it's neat anyways. Um, okay. So let's see. And I think they have to be placed within the circle area. So let's do, uh, let's do one there. Let's do one there. We'll do one here. And can we squeeze one right back here? Right there. Perfect. Okay. So we got our little houses in. Ha ha ha. Yes. Build a campfire, build a few houses, get a source of food. Okay, so now, where's our thinker at? So, the thinker, you can see this little icon right here. We're going to move the thinker over here, because this is where they get inspiration. So, right now, they're getting inspired for the food. So, we need to figure out what kind of food source we're going to get from this. So, hopefully, we get something unlocked, you know, handy. But now, that the thinker's done we get an option of choices. So this is where those cards that we saw earlier, when you can have like different chances for things, this is kind of what we got. Um, a farm in a square patty that grows fully when flooded, reliable and consistent, bakes uh, inedible reeds into delicious food. A farm row that can be placed only on fertile grass tiles grows fully when rained on. Okay, so let's go with, I mean, it reads. Cause we're producing bamboo. We do have reeds nearby placed on grass, but it has to be rained on. Let's do a bakery. Let's do the bakery. So let's grab this. Um, let's see, where can I put this guy? Can I put it right here? Okay. We're gonna put the bakery. The bakery has to attach to a house. So it looks like there's still enough room in here for them to get around and do stuff though. 
which is awesome. Um, okay, so there's that. And then let's go ahead and let's take our thinker and let's go get some more uh, some more researchy stuff unlocked. We need some reeds, though. I guess these are all reeds right here. Are these reeds? Yes, these are reeds. Okay, so we can harvest these reeds in the area. So hopefully we can get a farm, or like a reed farm of some sort. Uh, a lotus pond, a clay pit, a reed field. Warning, construction material not found nearby. So we need clay in order to make this. However, we don't have any clay nearby. Er, any clay nearby. So we're actually going to have to unlock the clay pit. And then we'll get this put in here. Where can this actually go? Oh, it can go right here. Okay. So let's get a clay pit in here. And that is like an infinite source of clay. And then let's see. How can I get... I don't think I can get you up on these things yet. Can I? I don't believe so. Uh, Thinker, what are you doing in the fire? Can you get up there? Is there any way for you to... Can you like jump up there? No, not really. Hey! Uh, snail beckon. A festival to call a snail from the wild and tame it. A boardwalk arena, a round wood arena for two people to fight to the death? What? I think this is what we have to do, though. I'm pretty sure this is, like, what we need. So, let's get that. I'm pretty sure that's, like, the, the whole goal of this mission right now. Um, Let's see. Oh, we can bring this out to, like, anywhere. Let's put it right there. All right, so we got a boardwalk arena. Now... Do we have people... How many reeds do we have? So we have 17 reeds nearby. How is the construction of the bakery going? It looks like this is still... Dismantle building. Pause structure. Producing brave. Bakery. I can't actually see the bakery. Clay, pil clay pit built no food. See, this isn't good. We ha we don't really have a source of food. I mean, we have reeds, so. Um, but we're hey, the bakery's getting built now. I think. Pretty sure the bakery's getting built. So hopefully, once that bakery gets built, we'll have some food. Now, I don't food nearby. These are all nearby options. So I don't know if we have. Where does it say we have food? I'm sure that I see anywhere that says we have any food. Um, but you know what? We're going to do... We're going to claim land. Mark an area to claim resources and land. Uh, this would be nice, especially the Beastmaster stuff, because then we could tame stuff. Um, and there's, like, quite a few reeds here. So let's claim that area. No food available. I'm curious if there's like a way to see like where is our food supply, you know? Because it says no food, but we do have the bakery making food. House. Does this mean we don't have a worker? I almost wonder if they can't access this area. I need you to work here. Okay, so now we have a worker. So hopefully food will start getting made. Current karma is two... Let's see if that works. So maybe we actually have to physically put people into certain positions. All right, let's see. Okay, so it looks like that person is indeed working there now. Hey, okay, cool. So we got some, we got some stuff. We got some stuff. Good, 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 good. Okay. Now, is there any... We need more, uh, we need more, like, more, we need more thinking power here. But I don't think there's a way for us to actually get up to anywhere. Oh, actually, I think you can get up here. I mean, that's not really what I need. Uh, that looks like more of, like, a defensive kind of thing. Oh, another food thing over here. Okay, we'll grab that one, too. Oh, very nice. Okay, so how's, is, is food being made? Food looks like it is being made now. They're working on it. Okay, we're working on it. We need to get a reed farm going, too. So hopefully uh, we'll get this unlocked, and then we'll go over here and get this unlocked. And then maybe we'll get uh, a reed farm from that. Oh, it's going to rain. 
Resource totem built. Okay, so now we can grab these as well. All right, what do we got? A rain collector, a, a shadoof, and an alarm instrument. Store rainwater to fight fires. A bamboo mechanism to access water to fight fires. Adds a button to manually ring the alarm. Um, I feel like choose a passive instead. I don't know if rain is going to be good or the, the, let's do the rain collector. Why not? And let's get that built in here somewhere. Okay. So we have a rain collector being built. I don't think it's going to be built in time though. Uh, where's our, where's our dude? No, 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 no. You need to get, get over here, bud. Get over there. Okay. Go, go do some more thinking. So, uh oh, collapse. A house is collapsed. One of your houses is collapsed from the rain due to insufficient rain protection. So that's not golden. Um, I'm guessing it's going to get rebuilt. Yes, it looks like it's getting rebuilt. Okay. So I guess these houses weren't super great. Uh, rain collector built. Too bad it, the cloud went right around it. Oh, what a jerk cloud. Okay, what do we got over here? Oh, look at that beast. That thing is so cool. All right, so what do we got here? A crop row and a patty. A square farm that fully grows when flooded. Uh, that can only be placed in fertile tiles, materials, reeds, takes reeds to produce food. All right, so it looks like we only have, darn it. I was really hoping we had the reed field. Square farm patty that grows when fully flooded, placed on fertile soil. It takes clay and produces food. This takes reeds and produces food. We already have something that's producing, hmm. We have an infinite source of clay. However, when fully flooded, I'm not actually sure how that's going to work. We might need to reroll the cost of karma. Let's reroll. Oh, it's the same thing. <laughs> Let's just get, I mean, we have an infinite source of patties right now or of, of clay, but I don't know how the flooding thing is going to work. Let's try that. Why not? Let's try the patty. Uh, patty is a square farm that grows when it's fully flooded. Okay, so if we put this here. See, I'm thinking maybe we should have went with the other uh, water collector instead of the rain one. How come you guys aren't grabbing food? Can we like harvest? Is there a harvest like all? Okay, let's get... Um... Let's get one of you guys to come over here and grab these. Oh, no, they're still going out and getting food. Yeah, they're still making food. They're still doing the things on their own. Okay. I'm guessing that if there's a, a thing with it, what are you doing? Grab this. Oh, he doesn't know how to grab it. Oh, your neighbor has demanded a tribute. Uh, They want two food. I don't have any food. I have zero foods. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have no food. Maybe I need to make another bakery. And also, I don't know what you're doing here, bud. Oh, he's a beast master now. Okay, so what we need to do is move you away. And then let's grab you. And we'll have you grab this. And then th that one will become a beast master as well. So beast masters... Uh, help tame things. Okay, you know what? I think we need another bakery here. Bakery. Let's get that going. And then we don't have any way to make stairs or anything. We have three idle braves. Maybe we need to... I wonder if we could... I wonder if we could tame a snail. If we Could we send a beast master in to tame a snail? We could. Should we send both Beastmasters in to tame snails? All right, let's let's set let's set these guys in to tame a snail, shall we? Let's see how this goes. Uh, tame the snail. All right, they're on their way. They're on their way to wrangle a snail. Oh, they shoot acid. Holy moly. Okay, it's not just a regular, uh, it's not just a regular snail. 
It is not a regular snail. I was thinking it was a regular snail. <laughs> oh no. Capacity reached. Okay. Um, should we should we hit the demand? I don't think we have a way to get down there right now, though. Oh yeah, we do. Uh, you know what? Let's accept their demand. Why not? We'll accept their demand, and we'll see if uh, maybe that'll help us in any way. Oh darn! I really hope that thing had water in it. This rain collector. Oh dear! Oh, it's burning the reeds and everything too. Demand denied. Prepare for retaliation. Oh gosh. Oh well, they're too busy. Oh, they're too busy burning down. <laughs> Burn down, suckers. They were gonna try to retaliate, but they got a little bit. They got their hands a little full. Oh shoot. So do we. Um, what is going on over here? What are you guys doing? Oh, they were fighting us. They sent people to fight us. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, rice. Oh, that is a rice farm. Okay, that's what I was kind of wondering. Rice farm built. Now, I, see, I don't know if this actually has anything in it. Get 20 braves in your village. How many braves do we have currently? Um, 14. We need more. We need more houses. All right, let's get some more houses in here, I guess. All right, oh, four more houses going in. That should get us well over 20. And then that's going to give us more people, but it's also going to give more of a food requirement. And we still don't have a good no bamboo. Uh, there's bamboo right here. They should be able to go out and harvest it themselves. Let's go ahead and let's claim a, uh, a land over here because there's bamboo naturally over here. Oh, there's snails, though. Let's claim that area because I'll get that going now. I don't think we want to do the festival. I think the festival is the last thing that you want to do because I think that is like the end of the game. So we're not going to do the festival yet. Food nearby. So I wonder if this actually is this indicating how much food we have? It must be. It must be indicating how much food we actually have because I thought it was just nearby. Uh oh. Uh oh, we got some rain coming in. All right, let's hope for the best here. I'd like to be able to get up to here, but I don't think we have a... We don't have, like, a, a stair or a ramp or anything. Ooh, there is a thing to, to do some, some, some stuff here. Should we do this? Let's see. If I, if I just move my guy down here... Yep, we're going to have a collapse. Are you doing... Are you thinking... Okay, I think he's thinking. Uh-oh. Oh! Run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! If our thinker dies, I think we lose. Oh my gosh, they got like a wizard and stuff. Oh, we're losing braves left and right. Yeah, well, so are they though. They're losing more than we are. I wonder if we could take their town. I think we could take their town. How many people do we have? 17? We might be able to take them. How many How many people do we think they were down here? One, two. Of course, it looks like they have some like mastery people and stuff. Mm, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think it's worth it. Let's get, let's get some more people up. Let's get our numbers up here a little bit. Um, food also still doesn't look good. Let's do another bakery. Uh, we'll do one right there. I really wish we had a reed farm, though. All right, we're going to pull all of our braves. Should we just do it? Should we just fight them? Oh, they're coming up here to do something. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. I think we could take them. I think we could take them. Let's do it. Let's see if we can do this. Um, all right, we've got literally 21 people. Let's do it. Boys, fight in the name of our honor. We must take their village and make it our own. They started this war. Oh, geez. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen. 
Because, like, we could claim this area and then we'd have better houses and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see what happens. Get him. Get him, boys. We're in massive combat. We still have 20 people. I think we have the numbers on them. I think we still have numbers on them. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like we do, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh. Got some rain in here. I want to see if we can claim this area. Get them, boys. It looks like we're dominating. We have become the one true great threat of this land. I think we got him. Oh, we're destroying all their stuff. Oh, no way. Uh, we also have this guy over here. Hey, over here. We got this guy. Get him. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing on a boat in the land, but hey. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so what happens if I do a claim land here? Uh, Because that'll give us clay pits right there. That'll give us access to docks and stuff. Let's lay it right here. This is our land. So yeah, it looks like we have to destroy these. Okay, cool. <gasps> oh, there's a walker. Oh, we don't have any Beastmasters left. So I think we want to take these buildings out because I think it's probably going to stop them from respawning. All right, looks like people are going to go back to work. Um, let's get let's get you guys back up here. We need to get food being made. Uh, you can go attack this place. We need to make sure we take down their houses, though. And then it looks like we should be good now to get in here. To hopefully get a new resource going. And then, let's see, how's everything looking? Do we have... Let's see, let's get you into there. Looks like people are resuming jobs. Okay, cool. And then we should have a new item. Okay, what do we got? Archery range, barracks, oh my gosh, watchtower. A melee warrior equipped with a sword and a shield. See, that would have been nice before we did this. Um, we're going to take, let's do a barracks. We'll get that built somewhere. We'll put that right here. Oh, shoot. Um, everybody, we need, we need people over here to deal with this. This guy's just slowly working on stuff. Yeah, you got it. You got it be nice if we could, like, take this stuff instead of destroying it, but... Oh, no. Uh, small... That can read bonfire. Miracle of bamboo. Grows an abundance of bamboo in the area. Summon a snail. Call a snail to your festival. It still must be tamed. Consume... Consumable resources costs are satisfied in all buildings once. Oh... Oh, we can do this. Let's do the feast. Um, I don't want to do the snail. I think we have bamboo enough, so we're good. Uh, can you get out of here? You need you need to go over here, away from the fire. Oh, we lost a lot of stuff here. Okay, let's get our houses back in here, and let's get a bakery back in here. Our food resources right now, not great, not great. Um, let's see, we have, we've got a couple idle people here. We're gonna take you guys, and you're gonna go finish off um, destroying this stuff. Oh, look at that, this whole area's cleaned out. Oh, we got people trying to raid us over here! There's a couple guys in over here, these guys. 
They're trying to take us. How did they get over here, though? I don't even honestly know how they got up here. Is there, like, a ramp somewhere? Like, I see a ramp right here. I don't see a ramp over anywhere else, though. Okay, so we have a uh, we have a barracks now. So let's go ahead and let's make a couple warriors here. Take you, you. Let's do like what four warriors would probably be good. I'll probably be good. And then how's our food going? Is our food finally getting back up there a little bit? It looks like it is. It looks like we have one food currently. <laughs> uh. So let's do a uh, let's set up a feast. Oh, shoot, our clay pit and our patty got destroyed. That's not ideal. Takes clay to produce food. Let's do good. Let's do another one of those. And then let's set up a feast somewhere. Where does this have to be? Over here, I guess. Okay, we'll set that up. Host the arena festival. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. I guess our current goals are pretty much satisfied. Let's do it. Let's just host our festival and uh, we'll see what we unlock here. All right, there's our arena festival. They're fighting to the death. Why? Why do we have our own people fighting to the death? Look at him go. Look at him go. Hey, we're done. We did it. You successfully hosted an arena. So yes, I believe the arena is actually in the stuff. Uh, so we had our thinker, the biome. Uh, the challenge was the fight for glory. The time it took us 24 minutes. Boardwalk arena is completed. Antioch slain. Garum slain. Oh, nice. We get some karma and stuff like that. Technologies used. Technologies can be kept for the future. Add a technology to save it for the next challenge. Oh. So, like, if one of these was really good that I wanted, I could save it for the next challenge. So that's kind of how the roguelite works. So, like, maybe we'll do... Honestly, these are all basic. Like, these are all super basic, so I'm not going to keep any of them. Oh, that is super cool. Okay, now. Did we unlock anything? So, let's see. What is in here? Oh, this guy. Uh, a pear farm. A vine that hangs from trees. Canvas first produce canvas fabric from reeds in abundance. What is this? Mud arches large bridge that can help cross gaps in a horizontal line. Pear tree, a vine that hangs from trees. Karma cost is four. So I like the idea of having more food. I'm going to purchase that. And then I think what we can do is I think we can go in here. So then we can go to food and I think we can choose hair farm. By this technology in game to record the full details. 5% chance. Do I have to? Oh, no, 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 no. What was happening? <laughs> uh, Food. Crop row. Try this technology. 8% chance to appear. So do they just... Does it not matter? Do you just have like a... a you, they, all of them will just have a chance to appear? I was kind of thinking that you had to select... 1% chance to appear in there. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's just like a percentile. Like you just unlock it and then you have a percent to get it. I was thinking that you maybe like had to choose three from each category or something like that. That you could choose from. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. I like that. I like that. And then, uh, yeah, mud arches. We can't unlock that. And then canvas press. We can't unlock that anymore. But then we could also, if we wanted to, we could select a different thinker. Um, festivals, healing coffer, festival stew, incense memorial. Starting crew is six people. We get two logs for bamboo. Favor, move speed, health, wooden nails. Structures 
are constructed as fast as you can acquire the resource. And then Sharpen Axes doubles Brave's damage and chopping speed. Sky Pole, Bonfire, Ceramic Tower. So yeah, there's different there's different people that we can choose from. And it looks like it looks like there's I, I guess this guy maybe stands here, but it looks like there's also uh, another slot for like three more. So that is pretty neat. Let's actually see what the next thing for us is. Um the epic or quest choice. Take to the sea. Reward the pebbles. Islands await. Prove yourself with a series of aquatic challenges to gain access to pebbles. Uh, snail praise reward thinker Garum. Festivals and exotic goods will grant you control of Garum, the fastest thinker of the group. Interesting. Interesting. This is cool. I like it. But that is going to end it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like if you're new here. Maybe consider subscribing if you think that I earned it. And uh, yeah, this is Kanga Seeds of Civilization. Kanga. I think I'm saying that right. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, link down below. Thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.